Hello friends, myself Amit Maru. Today this video will be very interesting and you will definitely enjoy because we are going to discuss one of the most interesting topic that is how to move our website on cloud. If you have website then how it can be moved on AWS EC2 instance that will be discussed in detail in our today's video. So let's start. First of all, let's get started with outline of our today's video. In our today's video, first we will discuss about how we can launch Windows Server on AWS by using EC2 instance. Then we will discuss how we can install XAMPP on remote server. And last step is very much important because in third step we are going to move our website on cloud. So let us move on our first step that is how we can launch Windows Server on AWS and for that we have to open uh, aws.amazon.com website on any browser and you have to log in with your ID and password. So let's move on AWS console. So this is AWS management console. I have already logged in with my ID and password. This is my account name that is AGM Amazon. I have already selected one region that is Asia specific Mumbai. You can select any region. You have to click on services. Once you click on services at that time you can get different domains. Among that uh, you have to select compute domain. Inside the compute domain we have one option that is EC2. EC2 is a service provided by AWS. Using that we can launch any server. Once you click on that you can get a EC2 dashboard. Will give you idea about how many instances are running. And will give all the idea about key pairs, placement groups load balancer security groups etc you just scroll down then you can get one option that is launch instance click on launch instance then you have to follow different steps to launch the instance the step number one that is choose the amazon machine image so you can select any operating system for example if you want to launch windows server then you have to identify the windows server which is free tier eligible so you just see here microsoft windows server 2019 which is a free tier eligible so you can select it so select it then you have to follow second step now step number two that is choose an instance type you can select uh, any instance type as per your need but right now we have logged in with a free tier account so we have only one option that is t2.micro this is a free tier eligible so you have to just select it and then click on next step that is configure instance detail. Here you can configure instance as per your uh, need but we are not going to change anything and just click on next step. Step number 4 add storage. You can add storage as per requirement but in our free tier we have only 30 GB. So use this 30 GB we are not going to change the size. You just click on next step that is add tags. You can add maximum 50 tags. So for example, we are making first tag that is name of server. So key is name and name of server is for example window. And then click on next step that is configure security group. As we already discussed, uh, configure security group can create your new security group or you can directly use existing security group. Here we are creating suppose new security group. Then you can add different rules by default RDP is available you just click here and select anywhere then add different rules for example we are adding HTTP then select HTTP here the port range is 80 and here select anywhere so that we can access from anywhere add another rule for example we are adding HTTPS select HTTPS here the port range is 443 and select anywhere so that we can access from anywhere and last step that review and launch now you can review it you can verify all the details what we already uh, discussed and last step that you need to perform that is launch the instance once you launch at that time we will ask for the key pair whether existing key pair is available or not otherwise you can create a new key pair also choose an existing key pair or you can create new key pair 
so let us create new key pair the name of the key pair is for example window window key pair you can give any name and then download it you just save it anywhere and remember the location so we are storing this uh, key pair in F drive you can store anywhere so name of the key pair is a window key pair then click on launch instances once you click on launch instances then you can see here your instances are now launching you just scroll down and click on view instances here you can get information about your instance you can see we have a instance the name is window this is instance id instance status is running instance type is t2.micro status is very much important that you need to check here it is initializing it means that our uh, instance is going to prepare so we have to wait then you can check here uh, this is a public uh, IP address then uh, monitoring we have not changed so by default it is disabled security group we have given then uh, name of key pair that is window key pair and this is the launch time so now we have to wait for a few minutes until our instance is ready here also you can get all the information for example details of our uh, instance then security networking storage status check you just click on status check you can get information about our instance status so system status check is initializing and instance status check is also initializing so that we have to wait you can click on a refresh it means here we can get two by two checks so that our instance is ready now we can connect it and just click on RDP client then next step is download the remote desktop file you just click on that and in below you can uh, see there is one option that is get password you just click on that then browse our key which we already stored in our app drive that is our window key pair you just select it and then decrypt it once you decrypt then you can get password this is the password using that we can access our uh, windows server so you just copy it and click on remote desktop file you just click on that then click on connect and you have to paste here password once you paste password then you have to just click on yes so remote desktop is uh, connecting so this is our remote windows server here you can see this is our windows server so this is our ip address this is the public ip address 15.207.18.170 this is the ip address of our windows server and click on internet explorer now our next step is we have to install xamp on our remote server so you have to just click uh, here you just download xamp you just type xamp download just click on our first uh, link that is download xamp apache so we have different uh, options here xamp for windows xamp for linux xamp for uh, osx we are selecting a uh, xamp for windows and then click on download you can get this message do you want to save xamp windows you just click on save then uh, view downloads then click on run just click on ok and then click on next button and again next 
our XAMPP will be installed in a C drive then click on next again next now uh, our setup is ready to install so click on next now installation of uh, XAMPP is going on so it's required some time so meanwhile we have to uh, copy all the content of our website from our uh, local PC to remote server so just minimize this uh, server all the content of our website is available here this is the content of our website the website on PHP PHP index uh, login page process.php then uh, some CSS file is also there some image is also there you have to just copy it and paste on our server so we have to uh, paste in our uh, this PC C drive inside the C drive there will be one folder that is the XAMPP folder open it inside the XAMPP folder there is one uh, folder stdocs open it and paste here so we are going to uh, remove some uh, files so these all the files are not required we have to just remove it so I have removed remaining all the files in our ST docs only one uh, folder is available that is our uh, content of our website just again copy it and cut and passed inside our ST docs and again remove this folder so this all the contents are available in our ST docs file so now we have to wait until setup is completed so now installation completed so we have to click on finish so this is our exam control panel you can start uh, Apache, you can start uh, MySQL, and then you can check on our browser whether our uh, website is uh, available or not. So just uh, open browser. So close this all the tabs. And just write localhost here. Localhost. And then enter. So, this is my website. So, which is available now on our uh, remote server. You just click here. For example, AGM is a username and AGM is a password. Just submit it. You can see here login is successful so now our uh, website is available on our cloud on our ec2 instance on our windows server you can access uh, this website from anywhere uh, this is our uh, ip address 15.207.18.170 this is public ip address through uh, that we can uh, access our website from anywhere uh, just check whether it is uh, available from anywhere or not so for that we have to just uh, minimize our remote server this is our local pc you have to just identify a public uh, ip address so you just go on instance so this is a public ip address of our uh, instance you just copy it just paste this ip address uh, on any browser and uh, check whether our website is available or not So this site cannot be reached. It means that we have to do some uh, changes in setting. So let us go back on our uh, remote server. This is our uh, remote server. Just minimize it. Again minimize it and just click on search button. You have to just click here and search firewall. Then you will have one option that is Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. Just click on that and here you can see one option that is windows defender firewall properties again click on that 
your domain profile is available private profile is available public profile is also available on domain profile you have to just check inbound connection is blocked by default but we have to allow it inside our private profile inbound connection is blocked by default but we have to allow it in public again we have to allow it and then click on apply and then ok now again minimize it and check whether our website is available on cloud or not just enter again so now you can see our website is available and you can access from anywhere so now you can access uh, our website from anywhere this is our uh, IP address this IP address is required to access our website from anywhere so this is all how we can uh, move our website from our local PC to cloud so thank you thank you very much for uh, watching this video thank you again